Okay, so we're gonna do an elaborated uh, personal reading first. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do a cross spread, like I've been doing. And let's see what's going on with you. Let's see what the message is for today. going today. Okay. Yeah, the sun. It's a good start. I also have the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, also a very good start. The sun and the Ten of Pentacles. So far, so good. And then we also have the Queen of Pentacles. And the Four of Cups. <laughs> they all jumped out at once. Not a bad spread at all. I can't really make it up. Can't really have picked a good four sets of cards. Um, and there's one last card, and that's the tower. Okay, so I'm thinking that you've had a lot of strife in your life lately. You've had a lot of problems beating you down, but the tower isn't usually always bad. It, it starts bad, it ends good, right? You need to wipe away the old, get rid of old habits, um, be pushed out of certain relationships or situations, be you know, fired from a job, uh, death in the family, um, a friendship breakup, um, you know, a love, you know, failure, whatever it is. That's how the tower usually starts, right? But the tower is interesting because you need to break something down in order to get something new. You can't have your cake and eat it too. I don't like that saying because I don't even know what that means. Like if someone's giving you a cake, you should probably eat it, right? <laughs> um, but let's rephrase it a different way. The tower. Something has happened in your life where you're kind of feeling like <laughs> everything's burning down to the ground work life is shaky, your love life is non-existent, or just broke up with someone lately, um, you know, family life is shaky, there's, you know, there's not a good foundation in this tower, you know, so in your life, you've had a lot of problems lately, but um, when you think about your life in a story form, right, you're reading a book on your story, um, there's going to be chapters where everything turns to shit <laughs> and uh you know but the secret of the sauce here is that on the other side of bad things happening is a whole bunch of good things so let's take this tower away we recognize that you've gone through a lot of things lately a lot of problems you're having a lot of problems right now um, nothing seems to be working out for you at the moment. However, once the building burns down, your past burns to a crisp, turns into ashes. Everything that you've ever known is gone. Um, you have time to rebuild now. But look at these four cards. <laughs> Insane, actually. The sun is basically <laughs> powerful in itself um, it also could mean that there's a Leo or it's gonna happen in August or you know Leo Leo season um, but the Sun basically means the manifestation of all your dreams come true right the star is when you wish upon a star and you're wishing and the Sun is when it actually happens so that's a good start excuse me for the camera shake here um, and then along with the Sun you get some wealth we have the Ten of Pentacles. It's not bad. It, uh, it's not bad at all. There's a lot of wealth um, right underneath 
the surface of all your problems. It might seem dark and dismal around you, but <laughs> even just these two together is very interesting, right? You have a whole bunch of wealth brewing underneath your feet and you might be in a very dark, dusty place right now. You might be just really not feeling it. You know, you're like, am I a failure? Is my life really turning out the way it is, right? So a lot of times we go through these phases and we're just like, how is this even happening? How is this happening to me? I've worked so hard. I've done so many things. I've been cautious. I've been good to people. I've done good things. You know, I, I've tried to um, do right by people. You know, say the right things, be truthful, have dignity, respect towards others and animals and nature, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, but there, and there's darkness around you. Uh, all your treasure is right underneath the surface. And it's still uh, right before the sunrise, right? It's, uh, you know, right before the dawn of your, of your new life. You're kind of still stuck in this dark period. Um, but you have such wealth right underneath you just waiting to be uncovered. It's right underneath the surface of your life. Um, you, you're, you're distracted by a whole bunch of all the negative things that are happening to your life right now, you know, um, but wealth is stacked against you in a good way. And wealth doesn't just mean money. Wealth means love. Wealth means satisfaction, health, belonging, people, good people around you, good feelings, love, you know, it doesn't mean that life is always going to be great, but it means that you have all of the um, tools that you could ever need to have the best life that you could. Anything that you've ever dreamed about is right underneath the surface, basically, and right above. If you just look upwards, if you just look up from all your problems, literally look up at the sky. And, you know, don't look directly into the sun because we know that that kills your, your eyes. <laughs> but take a moment to just look at the sun, right? Uh, I was on the subway the other day and I had to change trains and I was standing, you know, at a station for about 10 minutes waiting for the next train to come. And the sky was so beautiful. And I was just gazing at the sky and the clouds and just being in awe of this life. You know, um, and there's nothing going on in my life that's that amazing at the moment. <laughs> I mean, there's little bits of awesomeness every single day, right? And if you can, and if you can recognize that, that's wealth in itself because you're keeping your body and your mind in a very positive framework. Um, when you start to find, intentionally find good things in everyday situations, even if it's just one little tiny thing, you could be in the worst time of your life, but just one thing happens where it just sticks out and you think about that, that one good thing, it's keeping your mind and your body in a very, I want to say alkaline state for some reason, you know, like you're balancing your mind and your body out. You're staying healthy and health equals wealth. And wealth is right here. And if you just look up, not look at your feet anymore, pick your head up, keep your chest out, open up your heart, and you see the sun, all of your dreams are right, right here. Right here. You have the four of cups. <laughs> Maybe, and the queen, and the queen of pentacles. So not only are you sitting on a whole bunch of wealth that that's literally just waiting for you to just look up and see, hey, all of all of my all of my dreams, all of my aspirations, all of anything that I ever wanted is literally right beneath my feet and also right above me. I'm surrounded by wealth. I'm surrounded by my success. I'm surrounded by all my dreams come true. Everyone has different dreams about what they want in their life. Everyone has different wants needs. But what I'm seeing from this is that <laughs> uh, you're going to get everything that you need. So, so, so don't fret, my dear. 
you might be in a very dark place and when you're when you're when someone's in a dark place you can't help but think about all the things that are wrong all the mistakes that you made all the reasons why this person is this or that person is that right but if you just stop looking at the ground stop being stuck in this dark space you see the sun um, and you, you start to become and manifest into the queen of pentacles the queen of money pentacles is money to me so you, i see a lot of money and luxury um you know with the four of cups maybe you find someone and you you link up with them and you you both share the same sort of outlook you know you kind of um you might be opposites from each other or complementary towards one another um, and you both are looking for the same things. You're both looking for love. You might find someone that's, you know, kind of like your counterpart, a mirror to you, and you begin to swirl together into this beautiful, magical, luxurious life together with love, wealth, all of your dreams come true. I just saw 11 and 11. And you are going to become the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles rules whatever she wants. She gets whatever she wants. She's a lady of stature. She walks around with her nails done because she likes feeling refined. She likes feeling done up, you know? She takes care of herself um, physically and emotionally. So she's wealthy from the inside out, right? You become the queen of wealth become the queen of your dreams. All of your dreams are right above you and below you. You are surrounded by it. And when you just look up and realize that your dreams are staring at you in the face, you might just see someone else staring at you in the face and that might be some real good love. Real good lover who wants to share his pentacles with you as well. It's a crazy mix of cards, actually. Um, I'm gonna say that this is a really good spread for you. So keep doing what you're doing. Don't be discouraged at this time, no matter what you are going through, you are alive, you are listening to this video, hopefully. Thank you very much for listening. I hope that you get some sort of inspiration to keep going in your life, make another step towards your future. Even if you are dragging your feet along the way, even if you think that your life is really sucky at the moment and everyone you know, everyone, has, everyone has those moments in, in their lives, there's not one person on this earth that has a, a good experience 100% of the time. Just realize that you are in a phase and you're strong. And then if you keep walking and you keep going and you just lift your head up and realize that you know, there's wealth around you and it's waiting for you to uncover it. And that um, you have to keep your mind in a, in a frame where it's positive, not in a kooky way where you think that all life is gonna bring you is positive actions. No, it means keep dreaming, especially when you're in a dark place, keep dreaming. You have to paint a picture of exactly what you want be so specific, be so artistic uh, in your in your paintings of what you want, you know, dream everything that you want. You know, the sun is everything. The sun is sexuality, the sun is dreams come true. Um, and this is, I'm talking about maybe in a month, you know, you know like time doesn't really exist, but um, it's related to Leo season. So I'm, I'm thinking that you're kind of on the precipice of getting out of dark times. You've gone through a lot of dark things. You've been maybe depressed, sad, be bewildered by what happened in your life, angry. You're just walking around in dark, dark feelings. Now is the time to lift up your head. Keep dreaming, dream of the most fantastic, amazing, insane, out of this world things and keep your dreams in your heart, in your mind, and visualize them every single day, especially when you're feeling low, especially when you feel like you have nowhere else to go, especially when you have no more answers, <laughs> especially if you're feeling stuck, frustrated, if no one can give you what you need, or no one can say the things that you need to hear, or hug
hug you or you know what I mean that you know you are the mother of yourself whether you have a mother or not whether you have family or friends around you to help you pick you up at dark times the only person that really matters that's gonna really take you out of dark times is yourself and if you start to you know start dreaming start dreaming a lot you know um, dream about everything that you want everything people places things your lifestyle the way you want to feel especially how you want to feel you have to in invoke the feeling of getting what you want and feeling like you already have it you know so if you if you want wealth walk around like you're like how would you feel if tomorrow you woke up and you were in a very wealthy state you had your ten of pentacles already right now and you wake up and you're like today's a new day I'm rich I don't have to worry about my bills anymore I can go out and have fun and feel carefree and light and know that everything's taken care of I can take care of myself I can take care of my family I can take care of people that I love I can take care of my pets I don't have to worry about bills I don't have to worry about anything but you know other personal you know uh, silly things that come on in your life but when you become that right when you start acting like the Queen of Pentacles already even if you don't have one pentacle or half a pentacle or <laughs> nothing right you're you're negative Pentacles it doesn't matter act like the Queen of Pentacles now act like you have the money now act like you have everything that you want now what does it feel like what would you feel like what kind of person would you be if you were rich start acting like it now like you're rich it's a little delusional some might say but it's not it's invoking the feeling the emotions inside of your body along with um, along with validating your dreams basically so you're invoking your emotions of what you already want to feel like into your body so that they're currently in you now and you're also manifesting your dreams because you're visualizing what you want you visualize what you want to see what you want to smell and what, what you want to feel like you invoke the feelings of how you feel if you're already wealthy and you become the person that you want to become already even if you don't have the pentacles to back it up the queen of pentacles has everything she wants and she walks with ease throughout life because she's kind of like a queen <laughs> this is gonna you know push you into your future with the four of cups it's gonna really give you a lot of wealth and luxury i mean the sun the queen of pentacles the four of cups and the ten of pentacles come on this is great this is good this is good 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 so learn how to manifest and while you're doing that with yourself if you're working on yourself you know how everyone says oh work on yourself you know first before getting into a relationship and this is what i think it means is that when you start manifesting what your dreams are in your brain and invoking the feelings into your heart and feeling the feelings in your stomach and your body and it's resonating you will call in another person that's doing the same exact thing as you it's going to be good because you're invoking the right type of energy into yourself already you're already glowing up yourself and that's going to be the best thing for you and then another person comes along and multiplies your wealth multiplies your success you know helps you create the dreams that you want maybe you both share certain dreams together or he helps you manifest the dreams even faster this is where the swirl comes in you both swirl together you create even more positive energy together and my darlings it's so much wealth so much wealth